All right, so in this course, we are talking about real functions. So f is a, so f is a function, real one dimensional function, right? So, so outputs are real numbers. So domain is R, right? Real, all real numbers. So in this course, we are talking about real valued functions. Uh, say, so R, suppose R is said to be a rule of this function. That means, so if you plug R into the function, what happened, this is equal to zero. So then we say R is a root of that function, right? So we are going to find roots for nonlinear functions. So before talking about nonlinear functions, so let me uh, take an example of a linear function. So, so what do you what do you mean by a linear function? So so here this x is the independent variable, right? So, so let's take two x plus one. So this is called a linear function, the degree of this polynomial. So this is a polynomial. So first order polynomial, right? The highest degree of this polynomial is one. Uh -huh. Then we call this is a linear function, right? Linear function, linear in x right so for this case for linear function this very easy to find solutions exact solutions now you can plot this one you know that this is the uh, slope and this is the intercept intercept is one and slope is two uh, you can you can find this uh, this point intersection point with x-axis this is your x-axis x so i am starting from the basics right so this is your function of, of x this one here right so we know that function hits at at fair at negative one half, right? Negative one half. So the negative one half is the root of that function. So there is only one root. So it is very easy to find uh, roots for linear function, right? And if you talk about nonlinear functions, so let's start off with a quadratic equation, uh, something like x squared uh, plus uh, let's uh, let's uh, uh -huh. so yeah minus three x plus two. Uh -huh. this one is a pro so second order polynomial. This is a polynomial in x and the highest degree one two this is the highest uh, degree so this is a second order polynomial and this is called quadratic equation also we call this quadratic equation right <clears throat> so for this uh, we can also find roots right for i think uh, so for first order uh, polynomial, it has only one root, right? For second order, it has, uh, there are, what is the maximum number of roots for this one? Two, either two or one or no roots. So if you consider this type of linear function, say, this is a constant value. So this value, so 
for all x, the function takes one. For all x function value is one. So you can see that. So this one is parallel. This function is this curve, this straight line is parallel to x. This uh, straight line does not hit x axis. So there is no solution for this. And this has a one solution. So, so the degree of polynomial is one. That means the, the maximum number of roots for the first order polynomial is one. The maximum number of roots for second order two. Or if you talk about nth order polynomial, you can say there the maximum number of roots for nth order polynomial has uh, is n, right? So more, not more than n. There are so the maximum root, the possible root, the number of possible roots for n to the polynomial is n, right? All right, let's talk about this second node. This is this is nonlinear because it has x to the power square. So this is a linear one because x to the power one, right? This is called nonlinear x squared. Uh -huh, but this one, we can easily find roots for this if you factorize this into linear factors. If you factor this quadratic equation into linear factors like this, x minus one, x minus two, so you can find roots by equating this to zero. So this implies either at these points, either one or uh, two. So these are the possible roots, right? These are the roots. Uh, if you draw this uh, quadratic equation, so you can run into it. So it goes like this, like yeah. goes. Yeah. It goes like this. Uh huh. It is very easy to identify roots. This is one. This is two. The function hits two points, right? In this case, uh, one and two. So these are the roots of this function. At these points, the function value vanishes uh, is equal to zero. All right. So pretty easy to find roots for this kind of nonlinear. Uh, how about this one here? So f of x is equal to x squared, x squared. Uh -huh. This one is a second order polynomial, quadratic equation. In this case, there is only one rule, the roots. Yeah. This curve kisses the x-axis at zero. So this is x. Yeah, this is your function x squared. Uh -huh. So there is only one root for this one. Mm -hmm. uh, if you shift this curve to up towards upward, let's consider this one x squared plus one. So in this case, you can see that. So there is no, so this is one. So this one is, uh, so this is the lower bound. So this function does not hit its axis. So therefore, so for this function does not have roots, real roots, right? But this, so these cases are very easy. Uh, so linear, nonlinear, this is called nonlinear. But now I give a horrible function. So let's say f of x 
is this weird i i will pretend to be silly so let's add to the hundred sign to the sign squad uh, i will give you this kind of uh, yeah, yeah, x to the seven plus e to the x five plus e to the x yep so how do you find roots for this type of uh, horrible function so this is continuous because sine is continuous sine continuous everywhere this one is polynomial you we know that polynomial is very smooth it is differentiable differentiable and exponential also very smooth function so this one is a continuous function, but how do you find roots for this kind of function? So this is definitely nonlinear, nonlinear. So, so, so it is very difficult to find roots exactly. So in this case, what we do, we go to, we go to, we find approximate roots for this kind of horrible function if you are given a, a function like this so we use numerical methods to find approximate uh, roots so you can say so this has a root around some inter you can say like that so i found an interval a b you can say uh, this has a root in, on this uh, interval so let's discuss so for that to find to find approximate roots approximate roots uh, i think uh, there are a few methods you you can use one